Aliens, why alcohol's not a good idea, babes. Maybe it affects aliens more. <laughs> oh no. Lindsay finds him super attractive. When your, like, alien eyes can see ultraviolet and all the other colors, yeah, they can't see a red flag bigger than Saturn. Hey, my little peaches, welcome back to another episode of our Not So Berry Challenge Gen now with Ash. I asked you guys, how should I dress Ash? I found Ash a little bit difficult to dress. I'm just gonna nip into create a sim before we get into today's episode because I'm like, she's sporty, but I didn't really know what kind of aesthetics to go for. You guys were suggesting a bunch of awesome ones in the comments below, so I'm glad I held on on dressing her until I got some of your guys' feedback. I went ahead and downloaded a bunch of CC. The CC I've downloaded is all from Clumsy Alien, whose CC I absolutely adore. And there was some more kind of like, I don't know, relaxed stuff, sporty stuff that I thought we could give a go. So that is what we're gonna be kicking off today's episode with. Don't forget if you are still enjoying this challenge, please show this video a lot of support. Your comments and likes honestly help me out so, so much. I really, really appreciate them. And if you're new to this channel, if you just stumbled across this video, don't forget to watch right from the beginning of the Not So Fair Challenge. It has been a bunch of fun. Also, make sure you subscribed and you hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. So I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna add these as like secondary outfits. And I actually did a tweet recently talking about how I wish Sims had a uh, supporter creator code like Epic and Activision do because then we would actually be able to like support, um, I mean you could support YouTubers if you chose to, I would probably use mine to support some of these CC creators who honestly make my game playable, I, I love love the CC in my game Clumsy Alien is definitely one of my favourite clothing CC creators, Clumsy Alien also makes hair but it is max as much and as you guys know we don't mess with that, we like our alpha hair on this channel but I thought I would go ahead and check out some of the new stuff that I literally just downloaded to see if any of it had an Ash vibe to it. How cute is that? I would wear this in real life so hard. I actually think that's really cute. I'm kind of like, if I only dress her in gray, she's just gonna look really washed out the whole time. So I'm like, should I try and like have one thing that's gray at all times, but also kind of mix it up with some non-gray stuff? I don't know. I just feel like only dressing head to toe in gray, it's a bit more boring. I would prefer to give her some vibes at least. You guys also really like the idea of like little hoodies and stuff on her as well. So again, still clumsy alien. I've downloaded some little hoodies. I actually think this gray hoodie, but with the yellow sunflowers for saffron is a whole vibe. And I like this little denim jacket as well. Very cute. This top is a little bit maybe too grown up for her, but it is very adorable. And it actually goes with some like dungarees that I downloaded. Let me try to find them. Oh my gosh, I got so much clumsy alien stuff now. <laughs> oh my gosh, so much, so much cute stuff. Ah, look, so it works with these dungarees. I literally almost bought some dungarees that look like this on AliExpress with a peach on them. So, <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh, this skirt is a whole vibe. I would wear the bejesus out of the skirt. I love that. Look at the little chain as well. You guys really like the idea of alternative dress ash. And I do as well. So I feel like she'll slowly get there over time. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna give her her little gray. I know it's white, but they don't have a gray one. But her grey-ish hoodie and I'm gonna pair it with this little skirt for that look for her formal. I'm gonna give her this little grey dress because I don't like the stereotype that oh if a girl's into sports she can't also like she can dress sporty and athletic but she can also dress girly like the two aren't mutually exclusive. Athletic bedwear I'm actually oh my gosh why have you got a full face of makeup on for bed <laughs> I do not know. I'm gonna say that she's still needing to be in her alien outfit for bed. Oh wow wow sims wow because she is half alien and we're kind of going with the law that her body needs to like recoup on an evening, which is why the alien outfit helps out with that. All the stuff that she's missing from not being on Sixum because she's she's a hybrid, so she's kind of needing a bit of both. And then party, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. So I feel like I'm still trying to learn her style. I've just tried to dress her like cute teeny. She's looking at what everyone in school's wearing and she's trying to emulate it, which is what you guys liked as well. So these are her looks for now. I guess if we do go for a little bit of a more alternative look for her, I feel like that's when we'll start to get more greys and blacks and piercings and maybe some tattoos and stuff in there as well. I also, you guys had some brilliant ideas in the comments. One of them was, um, you know, the reason that she brought Band- uh, Sorry, I keep quite wanting to call the raccoon Bandit. Pluto the raccoon. One of the reasons that she doesn't recognize him as a raccoon. One of you guys suggested maybe her memory isn't amazing. One thing I kind of like the idea of is that the aliens live for a really long time, whereas obviously humans don't. And what that might result in is if you're an alien, 
it would be impossible for any brain to store like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years of information. So maybe they put less emphasis onto each individual moment, which results in less memory for each moment just to help them with organizing their thoughts. And as a hybrid, Saffron has a little bit of that. I like that idea. But another thing I was thinking is maybe that since she does have a half alien brain, maybe there's just certain things on Earth that her brain isn't a setup for, such as being able to tell human, well, actually Earth animal species apart. Maybe it's almost like, you know how some people have face blindness? Maybe she can have an equivalent of that because a lot of her brain is alien DNA, which obviously isn't ideal when you're living on Earth. Oh, and look, there's Laika haunting her own grave. Nice! And with the memory thing that I talked about before as well, one thing I was thinking is, obviously we have the weekly movie nights when she has her own children and stuff. Maybe that's something that she puts in the calendar and like locks in because she is super, super paranoid about, why have you, you just woken up in the middle of the night to bake a cake? Oh, the cakes that were not working yesterday, suddenly now you can work. Okay. Wow, so I couldn't use this for your birthday, but you just are able to bake it now. That feels awfully rude. But yeah, maybe she has the movie night in a calendar because she's super, super paranoid about forgetting key moments of her kids' lives and missing out on stuff that she's almost like such a good parent because she's so worried that she's not a good parent because she's worried that she's forgetting that stuff. So I thought that could be kind of cute. You guys also had some great suggestions on how we can level up her parenting skill. One thing a lot of you guys were saying is that we have kids quite soon with Ash. It will be the first of any of this generation that we'll have done that with. So I think that's a good idea. I'm hesitant at the idea of doing it while she's a teenager. Maybe in this final quarter when she's basically like 19 is one thing, but doing it during this phase just does not sit very well with me. But what we can do in the meantime is get her reading parenting books and also taking on babysitting jobs. Both of those are gonna improve her parenting skills. So thank you guys so much for those tips. You guys were also suggesting Trace would make a good first boyfriend because he hates children. If we do end up having a babbleroo with him, I feel like he will probably piece the scene, which gives us one a kid, I imagine. Do we have a set number of children Ash is meant to have? I love you guys like the idea of three kids for um, Ash, but yeah, that would be a good way, reason that their relationship broke up, but we would start building the parenting skill because we would have our own child at that point. And it would be like a single parent sitch. So it's a Saturday today. I think that's a good excuse to go to Solani <laughs> and see Emily and Lindsay and whatnot. You guys were also suggesting that we definitely change Lindsay's trait because it did give her the mean trait. But you're right, she was a total sweetheart, so I will be changing that trait. I say we go ahead and do that today. We also can give Lindsay an updated appearance as well. But first things first, I am gonna go ahead and get you to find a job as a babysitter. So get paid to play with kids. I like the idea that Ash is kind of like, she's sort of obsessed and interested in humans. She just finds them fascinating because she's not one kind of thing. <gasps> Heard you big fan friends with Jillian. She's pretty cool. Thanks, Emily. Um, so that's why she's like, oh my gosh, baby humans are so cute. I really want my own one day and I want to learn all about them and like how to raise them well. And also the reason that she wants to be an athlete is she's like, oh my gosh, human bodies are like so crazy. Look at all these things they can do. Like that part of her alien brain is still there and it's interested, you know? So we have our first job. It says work in two days, but then it's Saturday and I've got my first job at 6 p.m. Is it maybe on Sunday instead? I don't know. But I feel like uh, Saffron would be like, oh, this is good. You, you're you getting a job. That's good. You, you're you kind of very responsible. I suggest that you buy a parenting book to help you with, with babies because I'm not the right person to ask. I know nothing of children. I find them quite confusing and you're half alien. So you're probably going to be find it even more confusing. So we're going to take Saffron's advice and buy a parenting skill book. In fact, I'll buy you all three. The whole trilogy. And we're already on parenting level one. We do have to get to parent in level 10. So it's gonna be a long journey, but we got this. <gasps> hey, Emily. Uh, hey, Saffron, it's Emily. Do you wanna hang out tonight? Yes, but not the bluffs. We're gonna come over to you. I'm just gonna do a few bits and bobs at home first. We'll also be bringing along Raccoon Pluto. You will get to experience Sulani. Are you excited? Okay, sorry, privacy, privacy violation there. And she finds the parenting book fun. Again, I honestly find Ash my least relatable sim so far. <laughs> but um, you can't deny she's very, very adorable. So I don't want to leave it too late. Let's go ahead and travel over. We'll bring Pluto with us. And let's go to the most beautiful of all the sim worlds. Solani. So let's go ahead. I mean, it's still aged her up. Honestly, so pretty. Lindsay is just an absolute stunner. Even with gray hair and none of her CC on, she still looks like this. Like what? So here's Lindsay looking the way that we actually know her to look. And I'll still keep her in Solani clothes for like her formal outfits and stuff. 
But I guess she's dressing herself now, so she won't always dress in Solani stuff anymore. So here are the rest of uh, her outfits. If it's sunny, it's awesome now, so we might not be able to do any sunbathing. But I love making my sun sunbathe. In real life, no though. No sun. Do not bathe me in real life. Oh, and it is actually super sunny here. Okay, amazing. Oh, and of course, we've got high H on the scene now too, don't we? As I say on the scene, they're literally married. The scene's going nowhere. And while like the, the oldies have a little chit chat inside, have a little catch up, have a few little drinky pies. Someone's in a bad mood. So we're having a little sunbathe and a little catch up with Lindsay. I feel like uh, Ash really wants a tan because she's like, oh my gosh, tans are so human. Also, she's got spots, but she'll be like, oh, spots are so human. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. I love them. <gasps> and Pluto just aged up, but hooray for Pluto. He's not an adult cat though. Why was there not like a specific raccoon category with its own text? I do not know. But here is our pet cat, which is actually obviously a raccoon. Little Pluto with his big fl fluffy thick tail. So I added Lindsay to the family just so that I could get her to sunbathe too because I think if they both have little tans, it'll be really cute. And then I noticed that we're feeling depressed because there's a loss in the family from losing a grandparent. So I'm just gonna go to Lindsay's family tree. Lindsay's dad obviously isn't with Emily and is instead married to Bristol Delgato. Her dad is Jeffrey Delgato. So yeah, she's also one of her grandparents, which is on this side. So I feel like we should try and make her feel a little bit better. But first of all, we should try and get ourselves some tans. Ooh, you need to put some sunburn protection on, please. Don't want either of you girlies getting any, any exposure to that radiation and whatnot. And I don't know if one day is enough, just a couple of hours in the evening. I mean, the weather is absolutely glorious. This is, oh my gosh, why is that roof so high? I've kind of just never noticed that before. But this is one of the reasons I like this pack. Honestly, it's the most aesthetic pack. And I swapped out Lindsay's mean tray for the cheerful tray because um, she was such a sweet kid, so. <gasps> and even though I put sunburn protection on Ash, she's still burned. Can you see that she's glowing red? Maybe aliens should not be sunbathing. I don't know. She's also feeling mentally drained. She's like loves humans and human interaction, but at the same time, she's like, it takes a little bit more of a toll on her. Also, this house is basically like a second home for us. We spent so much time here. Saffron's going for a swim. Just be careful because you can't die of exhaustion as an elder. So just go easy. Okay, don't go easy. All then just fully eat yourself cannonball style into the ocean. And honestly, I feel like I should just gone red. I don't feel like there's much tan there. There's just a lot of redness there. Whereas look at this. You got a sweet tan. What? Lindsay tans really well. Oh no, Ash just went bright pink. But Lindsay definitely picked up a tan. And these girlies just having a little bit of a catch up, but I feel like it's starting to get cold. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit cool. And you guys are outside in the cold there. Please don't catch your cold. Here is how the little tans look inside. Uh, where? Okay, yeah, you've just gone pink. You genuinely have just gone absolutely pure pink. Poor baby. Okay, note to self, aliens don't really tan. She's like, yeah, got a sweet tan. No, babies, you burned. You, you, you burned it a little bit, I'm afraid. And I feel like the girls would go ahead and like be like, Let's sneak, let's sneak one of the drinks from uh, our parents' like little uh, cabinet and have like the first little uh, try of alcohols. I feel like once we've got the uh, the alcohol braveness there, I'm gonna say that they were chit-chatting about Trace, who obviously Saffron has been talking with a lot. And we're gonna go ahead and send Trace like some text messages. Oh, and Saffron's gained the energetic lifestyle. You can have more than three lifestyles. I legit did not realize that. But yeah, with that liquid courage, she's like texting the boy from school. Around the fire with her first little drink with her best friend. Oh, I don't, oh, you can. You can get a bunch of lifestyles. <gasps> I thought you could only get three. I don't feel like that's right. I feel like it's like hiding down there and I'm not meant to get it, but I will take it. The more lifestyles, the better. So yeah, we're sending Trace a few messages and then we're gonna, uh, we're gonna be dared to FaceTime him by Lindsay. Although Saffron's just come outside. Side, so you girlies might have to chill it out a little bit. Oh look, dad's come out and brought the glasses in. You girls thought you were being smooth there, but you definitely weren't. I mean, Saffron literally does not care. She's like, alcohol, it's just molecules. They affect your brain chemistry. It's all science. <laughs> Whereas uh, the other two are like, hmm, this is inappropriate, please stop. And she's feeling fearless after that, all that. She's also feeling like she's popular at school, which I think is, oh, and she wants to be sick from her first taste of alcohol. She's got an angry headache too. But yeah, I think I think that's nice because she's so worried about like, you know, oh, I'm not like the other humans, but then everyone loves her. So I think that's really sweet. 
sleep. Oh, yeah, I think she's literally puking. This is why alcohol's not a good idea, babes. You've learned young, which I think is great. We're now feeling de- Oh, okay. We're gonna go ahead and bring our teenager home. I'm gonna bring Lindsay with us, though. She can come spend the weekend at her our house. I'm gonna pretend it was arranged beforehand. If you want me to do quite a lot of this, like bringing Lindsay over or putting Ash in Lindsay's household, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I feel like we're gonna continue our uh, best friendo together fueled trace text messages tomorrow as well. And since these two are best friendos, I actually don't know if you can get in this side of the bed, but I'm gonna be, Saffron will be like, I'll sleep in here. You two little drunky just sleep in here. I mean, they literally had a sip and vomited. So, you know, <laughs> and oh my gosh, Ash, oh my gosh. Maybe it affects aliens more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, that's what I, I mean. I feel like I did this as a teenager. Me and my cousin would like sneak a glass, like a sip of wine for our parents. I feel like this is bad advice. Don't do this. But at the same time, it's the human experience. And that is, <gasps> don't go on a treadmill. You're doing a hill challenge? Really? Yet again, I'm finding you so hard to relate to. Because if I was vomiting and feeling gross, I wouldn't be doing this. I just straight up wouldn't be doing this. But hey, I need you to boost your uh, fitness skills. So I'm gonna leave you to it. Oh, and look, your father saw the whole thing. The whole thing he saw. So Safra knows the best way to sort this out. Good old grand breakfast. I mean, look at that. That would sort you right out. I feel like we should also have Ash ask Lindsay for some help. Like, look at these cool things on my face. I see people at school with them. That's superhuman, right? And Lindsay's like, it is, but just to look after your little skins as well. I suggest we um, do some sheet masks together. So there we go. We've got our little, <laughs> our little face masks on too. Such a cute girly day. And then since the flea market is in town, I suggest that we go ahead and and bring Shreys after all the chit chat of last night to the flea market. And as soon as we get there, she's got the, God, my eyes. Who, who is causing this? Who'd you find that seriously unattractive? <gasps> it's Trace. Is it because he hates children? I don't know, but as soon as she's got here, she's like, okay, no bad idea, bad idea, but he's not, not hoi, no hoi, no hoi. What about if I CC him up for you? Let me just throw some CC on and then see what she thinks. It might change. She is literally like, gah, my eyes though, so I'm not sure. Okay, fair, fair. I'm gonna try fix my boy. Okay, that feels better already. What do you guys think? I just tweaked... Still, some little, I mean, I changed. His bare bones are there, but my gosh, this game makes some interesting NPCs, doesn't it? Okay, and I've just thrown a few bits on him. I don't want to spend ages with him, but he hates children and he's a genius. He also has a huge family, so yeah. And I think he looks a lot better. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, now she finds him basic. So that's an improvement. I mean, it's not her forever love. It's teenage crushes, so I don't think it's too much of a big deal. And this is like also such a teen thing to do, isn't it? Like, you want to be up with a boy that you've been texting but you bring your best friend with you because you don't want to go on your own and then you get stuck on the climbing frame and it's really awkward. Just usual routines. Oh, and now we're stuck on a sign. Oh, babes, you're quivering. Are you a bit nervous? Having a little shake? I'm kind of interested to know what her type is now. Like, honestly, Saffron never really expressed any urge for, like, a type. I never really got any vibes from her until she met an alien and then it turned out that now we know why. It was because she was in Aliens. But I'm not getting the option to scope, so I don't really know what other people she does find attractive. But we're going to be spending today having our first little teeny, teeny bobber crushes with friend of Lindsay here to help us as well. Oh, she's acting tough. She's gone ahead and done the turf emote. She's like, yeah, people like athleticism. I'll show how strong and tough I am. And like, obviously that does not work. But it's fine. We've got Lindsay. Lindsay's coaching her. She's like, don't do that. Don't do that. Why don't you talk about things that you're interested in? Why don't you ask about his interests as well? And she's like, ah, oh, debating about aliens. No. Ash, no. Oh, Ash is showing signs of the hero and artist personality archetypes. Interesting. So I feel like flirting as an alien is probably hard, but you actually seem good at it. I guess she's like popular. She's fun. She's the one who's really good at basketball. And she's got those cute little ears that could have made like her a target of bullying at school. But instead, everyone actually thinks they're adorable. <gasps> and what? Who are you having a breathtaking encounter with? <gasps> oh no. Lindsay finds him super attractive. Oh no. 
Oh, Lindsay's really into him. Okay, abandon, abandon, abandon ship right now. If your friend is that into him and you just find him basic. Oh, this is so awkward. This could literally break a whole friendship if this goes wrong. But Ash just got up from the table on her own to like listen to somebody else, talk to somebody else. I think she's gracefully bowing out because Lindsay, look at her blush. Lindsay's super into him. Okay, this could definitely be the source of some huge drama, but no, I'm not gonna let that happen. She's even moved to a different table. What a pure baby. If your friend does that into him, I'm not gonna get involved in that. I am not gonna get involved in that. So I'm gonna leave them two to it. I'm gonna invite over kleptomaniac Ashley instead. Maybe he will steal our heart. I don't know. I'm just aware that I have to have three failed romances. So I am working on getting those out the way. And I also want her to go through her first breakup slash heartbreak that results in her like completely changing her appearance. And maybe that's why she like, maybe she finds like an attractive like alternative vibes guy and she like starts getting pierced and stuff like that's what i'm thinking but for relationship numero two okay ashley she does perceive as attractive so let's go ahead and cc him up too oh these are the traits evil yay ah the red flags that you miss in youth honestly though this guy's kind of a cutie yeah i i think he's i think he's quite a cutie i don't hate what he's wearing either which i'm very impressed okay let's go romance a evil kleptomaniac when your like alien eyes can see ultraviolet and all the other colors yeah they can't see a red flag bigger than sun that is ash that is ash i mean he is cute honestly what is it with you guys you girls going to school with actual cute i mean we needed to do quite a little work on this guy but a cute townie that's a second gen maybe even a third or fourth gen color me surprised and impressed right now. I kind of low-key wish you weren't evil. Oh, and you're greedy as well. Oh, it's awesome. This is just fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna have to micromanage this relationship or else he will start being mean to her and they'll hate each other because that's what evil sims do. Also, this kid has some gold tier genetics because uh, these guys only all aged up recently. Oh, my man is so buff. And I feel like since Ash is into like sports and stuff, she'll quite like that because she'll be like, oh, we both can do sports together. <gasps> you can spot me in the gym. And wait, Ash and oh my gosh, they're both called Ash. <laughs> I did not think that through. Ash and Ashley. Maybe Ash would be like, ah, oh, humans that have the same names. This must be a good sign. I'm sure that this will be very, uh, very important. I'm sure I remember someone mentioned something about star signs once. I don't understand really what they are, but maybe it's matching names. Just alien hybrid things. And these guys also have a little bit of romance together as well. So productive episode. Oh, and we've got work in one hour, but I've got them a little bit of um, romance together already. Like I said, I had to micromanage the whole thing. And also he's told us that he likes wide hips. And Trace here has told Lindsay that they're not making good decisions in their lives. So basically both of them negging us already. Great. We're just going to exchange at Snapchats and then you actually have to head to your first babysitting job. However... I think we'll arrange a gym date together because we need to work out a gym venue once. Oh, before you head off, actually, I'm going to move Lindsay back into her farms. But yeah, you need to work out at a gym venue. Um, Both of you guys are into your, like, weights. Said you can spot each other doing some weights and whatnot. So I think in the next episode, we will go ahead and have ourselves a little gym date. But for now, you've got to head into your babysitting job. But I'm going to get make sure that we work hard so that we can try and boost our parenting skill whilst we're at a job. And Saffron is browsing the web actually not feeling stressed about not being at work doesn't yet have the urge to retire but that's pretty good i'm practicing writing autonomously as well do you want to pull a scarlet and write a few books in your elder years I like that. Oh, you did a superb job at your babysitting. I didn't actually get any parent skill boosting. So I don't know if it does boost their skill, but we will be reading books anyway. And we have our first romantic interest. Actually, so does Lindsay as well. So maybe we can do a proper double date. Maybe even a little, I don't know, camping or something. In the next episode, let me know what you guys think. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. Having a little nap outside. Look at her little gear. So cute. Yeah, let me know what you think of the Ash Ashley romance. Let me know what you think of all the ideas I suggested in today's episode. Hope you guys had as much fun as I did, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!